All right, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Ebony Bowler, owner of Bowler & Associates Group, where we practice the 4E's model. We educate, encourage, empower, and exemplify. Also owner of Clean Image USA, where our business allows you to do yours. We keep it clean, help us keep America clean. All right, so the last time we talked, we talked about where to start if you wanted to start a business. And so this is going to be part two, and I'm going to label that on the video. So as I told you before, I make no apologies. I am a Christian believer and I trust God for everything that I get and that I do. Uh, having a business is all about walking by faith. You want to talk about being in faith. Think about times where you had no food, no money. What were you going to do? Oftentimes you had another paycheck that was coming. If you were employed, if you were living with mom or dad, then you just ate whatever was in the house. If you have a spouse and they were bringing in income, then you could pretty much rely on them. But when you're in a position where both of you are self-employed, both business owners and at points in times where there were no jobs or no other income, what did you do? And that's what I believe that God wants us to be creative. He created us. So he's letting us know that we too can create. And that's what this whole uh, country was built on. Um, entrepreneurs, business owners, innovatives, inventions, uh, people who had ideas and they were able to monetize on those ideas. So we're going to finish up this part too. So we're going to recap real quick, just in case you don't go look at the other video or you missed the video. So the first thing we talked about was solving a problem. Okay. That's the first thing we said. If you're going to start a business, you're going to figure out what problem you solve. The problem I solve in my insurance business, making sure people are able to pay for burial and that they there's money to take care of the ones who are left behind. Uh, for my husband and I on the power washing and detailing, we keep cars clean. We power wash houses so that you won't shame your neighborhood or get in trouble by your HOA with a dirty house. What would you do? Would you do it for free? If it's something you would do for free, that's definitely a gift, definitely something God has given you to do. You just got to find a way to monetize. Once you do that, you're going to write it down. Once you've written it down, of course, you're going to pray on it. Then you're going to uh, make sure that you are already good at it. If it's a natural, you're good at it, or you may have to practice at it. You're going to research, 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 research. I actually talked to someone today who told me they were researching for that business. Did my heart marry? Um, you're going to remove the need for approval. Again, family members and friends are not always going to back you. They're not going to always understand. And then the last thing you want to have is a game plan. So say you got all those things together and in order. So now what? All right, the first thing you want to do is have your business name. Come up with the business name. Come up with your logo. You don't know what those are. Just Google and search them. Nowadays, they're everywhere. You can get your um, logos and things like that done for very inexpensive. There are a lot of freelancers out there, freelance companies now. I'm not going to give out any names because I'm not getting paid to endorse anyone, so I'm not going to endorse them. Um, but once you do that, you get your business name, you get your logo, you're then going to want to get your um, LLC or S Corp or C Corp, whatever you want to be. Most people start out as an LLC first because they're not big enough yet to be an S Corp. I just turned my business over to an S Corp recently. Woohoo! Um, and so that's a different tax bracket. Again, I'm not a tax professional. You want to talk to a tax professional about that. Um, but once you do, you can incorporate your own in business. I did that because I needed to save money when starting out. I didn't have a whole lot. Um, the first time with uh, Clean Image, we did actually hire someone. We had an attorney. Uh, with Bowler & Associates Group, I did it myself, or actually I had a friend help me do it. It was easy. I just also incorporated another business, hint, hint back there, our art company that we're getting ready to get started. And I uh, did that myself, haven't put it out there yet, so can't share the name and all that. Once you get incorporated in your business, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a business checking account first after you get your tax ID. So excuse me, that get your tax ID number. Then you're going to open up a business checking account. That's the first thing I did after I had all my papers. Very, very excited. I'm not going to endorse any banks, but there are some banks that favor businesses over others. Do your research on that. After you've done all of that, then it's all about uh, marketing your business. You know, build a website if you got one. If you can't, do a Facebook business page, Instagram, Twitter page 
pages. Those work perfect. Um, that way you can get yourself out there. But the main thing that I want to say today in this last little minute that I have of this video, because I am making this from my phone, so I do have to be a lot quicker than on my computer. The last nugget I want to give you is to just start. Let me tell you, I worked for Corporate America for over 15 years before I started my own business. Now, I've been an entrepreneur all my life since I was 16 years old. Always a side hustle, always thinking enterprise, thinking of inventions, ideas, always been creative. That's why I kind of struggled most of the time with working for companies because I was in this box and God called me to create. And so I had to get out of the box. But one thing I can say, I don't have any regrets of anything in my life. Thank the Lord. But what I can honestly say is that I I wish I had started my business sooner. One of the companies, the last company I worked with, I was an internal wholesaler, worked for a company, if you ever heard of Snoopy, that was their mascot. I had made that company almost, I think it was like a billion dollars, me and my internal. And my check that I got, my external, was $55,000 salary a year. That was it. So look how much money I forfeited. I hope this bless you. We'll catch up soon.